Elizabeth Birkenmeyer. I'm playing Bethany, who is a recent college grad with a BFA in slam poetry. In Cha Cha of the Camel Spider, um, Bethany is with her mother, and her mother has just been fired from this organization that is a privatized military group that is um, in Iraq and Afghanistan and um, learns a lot of terrible things that her father did and that this company does and then is caught being there um, by two uh, members of this organization and is taken away. Uh, I'm Todd Allen Durkin. I play Stack, whose real name is Robert Stakowski. Mm -hmm. What's your name? My name is Eric Mendenhall, and I play Denny. Uh, Stack is the, the senior to him. We both work for this uh, private military, like a Blackwater type agency. For one reason or another, without giving up information about the play, we've now been relegated to being security guards in back in the United States for the compound. And it, of course, drives Stack crazy because he's a career military guy and doesn't really understand why he's walking around security the cafeteria. <clears throat> I always got the sense that Stack is like this conservative, a borderline neocon kind of black and white, where he kind of comes off as this liberal. And I think that creates a tension between our characters and at the same time a, you know, a camaraderie as well, right? My name is Antonio Amadeo and I play Ahmad, mm -hmm. the cab driver. Honestly, the biggest challenge I have in this play is honoring the, the culture and the, the, you know, sort of the, the religion and everything that comes with playing uh, a Middle Eastern, an, an Afghani, mm -hmm. and a Muslim. I mean, YouTube's been a, an incredible tool uh, for this kind of thing, but I'm able to draw up all kinds of things from interviews with Afghanis, uh, interview with specifically with Afghani cab drivers. I'm also able to pull up stuff on, on the exact step-by-step -step -step process on how they pray, um, which has been very, very helpful. Not only to show me what I have to do, but to show how, how, they, how important it is to them and what it means to that culture. The world that Carter's created is, is that there are just, there are different cultures, there are different mindsets, there are different ways to approach, to approach life, different ways to approach conflict and to deal with conflict. And it's not always pretty and sometimes it's messy, um, but that hopefully in the end, you know, there will become, there will come a resolution and there will come something beautiful out of that.